to Boss Able here. Today in Home School in the Boss, we are on our way to the Crocodile Encounters in Negron, Texas. See you guys there. Welcome, my name is Matthew. I will be your tour guide throughout the entire facility. So if you have, if you have any questions during the tour, feel free to ask me. Yeah. Hi, Diablo. Oh my god. Two big ones. <laughs> There's a reason why his name is Diablo. Uh, He's yeah. so heavenly to work gotta with. You gotta keep going, guys. Alright, guys. So that, that is, uh, that, that's where people like to hang on the gate. And that's when it's like, I will not do yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so, when you look at this pond, these are going to be my personal favorite species of crocodile, which is the Orinoco crocodile, they're from Venezuela. Now, if they're from South America, is that above us or below us? Below us. So we're in North America. <laughs> so guys, we need work in town. <laughs> Alright guys, so these guys are going to be from South America, but sadly though, they're on the critically endangered species list. There's only around 150 to 200 of them left in the wild. And the main reason for that is because of us humans. We are tearing down their forest. Come on. Oh. 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 Okay, Diablo. Oh, so we are going to have Loco, Coco, Diablo, Rosalita, and Andrea. The ones, the ones that are right here is going to be Coco and Loco. They are sisters. And they just love each other. Oh, oh, Guys, there's a reason why we don't hand feed. <laughs> don't want to do it once. Whoa. That is Diablo. That's the biggest. Rose. Come here, Rose. Oh. oh ah, she knows her name. Rose. Ah. Come on, Rose. Look at the walk, Rain. Up on her feet like that. That's so cool. <laughs> Christina. Oh, you got snorted up for that one. Oh my gosh, he's tongue. I blame it on tongue, guys. Dang. Oh, oh. Don't make it slow. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh poor Christina. That's yeah. You can always live, live in the side of you missing. You can't live if this is gone. So they hide it in the very middle. Now, even though it is a python, and pythons are large, are, are large snakes, this guy is going to be full grown. So they're one of the smaller species of pythons. And kids, these guys make amazing pets. I'm going to find Bessie too. Now, uh, and the reason why I say that, because the snake is never going to tear up the carpet. It's never going to pee on the carpet. It's not going to make a hole in the wall. And it scares people you don't like. So I mean, it just works out. <laughs> Now guys, whenever you x-ray a snake, you are going to see bones, they have a skull, they have a spine, and they have over, over 400 ribs. But when you get down to the base of the tail, for your boas and pythons, they have toenails, so they have a hip bone. So they have vestigial limbs. So your snakes evolve from lizards. So whenever you x-ray him, you like I said, you'll see a small pelvis, and whenever I bring him around, you are going to see two little toenails that stick out. Now guys, the reason why he has toenails is not that he, he does not walk anymore, but whenever you are a reptile and it is breeding season, Scratching backs is like flirting, so that's how they get the girlfriend. So. You want to say hi, Timothy? Hi, Timothy. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright guys, so he's going to be a baby American alligator. Now the puns that we're about to go to next are we are going to see the adults. So we actually have mom and dad here, which is going to be the first pun that we go to. Um, now for his dad, his dad is going to be 13 feet long and 800 pounds. So whenever they are babies, they are super small. So whenever they're babies, they're about six inches long. This guy is only about two years old. So granted, he is not that big, but from six inches, he has grown quite a bit in those two years. Now, uh, your, your alligators and crocodiles are going to be the only animals in the entire world that whenever they are born, they, they can fit the palm of your hand. They weigh ounces. They're on six inches long. But whenever they are full grown, you can fit their stomach. They're the only animals in the world that can do that. Now, guys, I'm back. Okay, the toy is over for the crocodile encounter. I had so much fun learning about snakes, crocodiles, and tortoises. It was really fun. You should go over there one time. I think that wraps things up. Hope to see you guys next video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for new videos.